uh, in this recording, we will talk about how to add on top as a SIF server and BISO also how to utilize this for a de-authentication on two uh, on top. What we have here is a on top select cluster as an example. And by so we can see they're already logged in into system manager. And to give you the insight of what we have, this is a on top 911 one, which is the cluster management interface, the dot 200. The interfaces that we have um, up and running is a NFS live 203, the node 201, and the intercluster 202. So what we need is now to click to add a storage SVM. And what we need is to add the protocol of SMB SIFs. So the name of the SVM is the name of the SVM here in ONTOP. So SIFs underscore ONTOP. And then we need to fill in some attributes. What is required here is the administrator name of the domain where we're going to add the server to. So in, in our situation, this is EMEA OC admin with a internal password. And here the server name is the server name that we're gonna give this integration towards um, the domain server to. So as an example, what we're gonna do, SIFS test NETA. We'll see later on how that will turn up into AD. Then we need to specify a uh, the activity domain to give the insight I'm here then logging in into the domain and there the domain name is emia-oc.local. Again, you have to specify the domains for the DNS lookups. In this situation, it's again emia-oc.local. And you need to specify at least one DNS server. In this situation, it's uh, our uh, single domain controller that we're utilizing. And you need to select a IP address that is available. Here, it is required that you need to set up a communication path with your networking team so that you can specify a uh, available IP address. Then 216.26.204. Set the mask of 24, so 245, 245, 245, with the gateway as specified. Save. And what it's now doing is now going to add this particular um, SVM into AD, Active Directory. And what we get back in return is the storage SVM was added. So now we go into um, Active Directory. We go into computers. And there we see the SIS test NetApp that we just created. As a confirmation, going into the same machine as what we just made the changes in. SIFS test NetApp. That's the name where it's now being found on. As what we can see as well in the overview, the IP address that's being used in this particular situation is the 26.24.204, excuse me. And then what we need to go into is in settings. And I already had the user specified as an OC domain dash E slash Mbura. This is a user that is already defined on my active directory. What we can see here, users, Martin Bura, which is Mbura with the domain, is the user login name that we need to specify. So now what happens, going back in here, Log off, sign out. So what we also need to do is to create a domain tunnel. 
by so we're specifying that we are utilizing the SIFs on top as a domain tunnel. And now we're able to log in. As what we can see, it has HTTP on top B and SSH. So I'm able to log in into the UI. And as an example, the 10.216.26.200. And there as well.